Why is it important to put yourself first in a relationship? So I think it's important to put yourself first because say you guys break up, what are you going to do? Like, I, like I've like i seen friends who, like, they just completely lose themselves in the relationship. It doesn't work out. And then they're, like, like, just, like, they're nothing. Like, they, like, they don't know who they are, like, as a person. They don't know. Yeah, your whole identity becomes yeah. associated with yeah. being in that relationship. And then once the relationship is gone, it's, like, your whole daily routine. If you wake up together, you have breakfast together, you, you're dinner together, you're spending the weekends together, and now all of a sudden they're not in your life anymore. And, like, who am I? Yeah, so I think if you put yourself first, it kind of, like, I don't want to say it's, like, your, like, what, what's the word I'm looking for? You know how, like, it's not, like, plan B, but, like. Well, the idea is two people come together to share their completeness, and you, you hear the romantic idea in movies and TV that i got to find the right person to complete me. Mm-hmm. Well, the idea is you want to get to a place where you love spending time by yourself. You have an absolute blast by yourself or with other people or hanging out with a cute girl because if you can have fun because you can't give away what you don't have for yourself and if you can't have fun by yourself then you're looking to someone and something outside of yourself to fill you up to make you happy and so that works for a period of time especially if you meet somebody you fall in love and you're all infatuated well six months 12 months once the infatuation wears off you come to the realization that you're still unhappy despite having somebody amazing in your life. And then once you recognize that that person is not making you happy or isn't the source of your happiness because we decide, we give the meanings to these things, then what happens is they stop putting their best foot forward in the relationship because they were putting their best foot forward because they thought keeping this person happy and in love and around them is what made them happy. And when they realize at the end of the day they're still the same unhappy person they were before they got into the relationship, then they don't they have they don't have an, any emotional motivation to make the effort that they were, and then they stop dating and courting their girlfriend or their wife properly, and then she doesn't feel loved and supported and doesn't feel cared for, and like when I do phone sessions with guys, it's it's always the same two reasons: they stop dating and courting her properly. Or they don't communicate with her properly. She doesn't feel heard and understood. And, or it's a combination of both of those. And if you get into a relationship, because I'm sure you guys all know people that go from relationship to relationship. They break up with somebody they're with for two years. They're single for two, three weeks, and then boom, now they're in a relationship with somebody else. They never took the time to be alone, to heal, to get back to their hobbies, their interests, their friends, the things that they mm-hmm. did for fun. And so it's like the longer you're in a relationship, it's just like you were talking about earlier, people kind of lose themselves, mm-hmm. especially with, with guys. A woman's like, why do you have all those Star Wars things? Why don't you throw those things away? Or why don't you sell that stuff? Why don't you get rid of that stamp collection? What do you need all those guns for? Why, why do you need that old Chevy Camaro in the garage that you're working on? All, this, all you're do- It's doing it just collecting dust and you're spending all this money on it. And we could use it for other things. And the guy thinks... Man, she's always pissed off. She's always nagging. Maybe if I, maybe she's right. I'll just get rid of this and she'll get off my back. And then so the guy becomes compliant and starts complying with her wishes because he's hoping that's going to cause her to stop nagging, stop being upset. And so he bends himself into a pretzel to become what she says she wants. And then she leaves him saying, you changed. Because he stops being the guy that she fell in love with. He stops working out. He stops hanging out with his friends. He gives up his hobbies, all of these things because he's trying to do what she says she wants. But in reality, he's giving up all the things that made him unique, interesting, attractive, that caused her to fall in love in the first place. And the guy's thinking, what do you you mean I changed? I did everything you said you wanted. And then she still leaves him because he's no longer the same guy. And so when I'm coaching people that just got out of a relationship, I get them to get back into all those things, get back into their hobbies, their interests, the gym, reconnect with those friendships that you let go by the wayside and become that same guy again. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes that will re-attract her and also attract other women. And I've seen in high school some girls, they would date someone and then like a month later, they were, they, I see them with someone else. I'm like, damn. That's high school. Yeah, but then she did into college. I was like, damn sis, now you have to give yourself time. 
I think it was like two, it was like three, four guys, different guys. It was like two high school and two in college. I never understood it because it's true. You need time for yourself. You need to get back into your hobbies. You need to figure out who you were again. Whether it was working out, doing yoga, taking classes, all that kind of stuff. I agree. I struggled with that a lot and I just got out of it um, not so long ago. I lost myself completely in my pre- previous relationship and it didn't help that it was long distance because my life was literally revolved around him even though he didn't even live here and I didn't notice till um we broke up that I was like so like obsessed with the situation that I wasn't really focusing on my life that's going on here and then once we broke up I'm like he if I think about it he doesn't exist he doesn't live here, you know. Yeah, you were jumping through your butt. Yeah, I was to there. please him. I was flying he over there. Travel. Yeah, I was flying over there every month for like I'll stay like a week, most week and a half or something, and then come back here to my life. And it just I lost myself a lot. So when we broke up, I felt like I had nothing. Like I was like, where's my purpose? Like what am I doing now? Like life kind of just hit and that's why I was like so stressed around that time I think remember where I was so confused I didn't know what to do and I was like damn like I don't want to get like that yeah you were an again. emotional wreck it was I was always like sad Me, yeah your mind was somewhere else all the time and it would go off on him because like you know he thought he was doing his best but to me I needed more I was seeking like validation through him and my happiness and I didn't realize till we broke up that I need to make my own happiness and I'm finally at that state where I'm just like nope if I were to get in a relationship I want to be in my individual self like not get lost as Jim Rohn said I'll take care of me for you and you take care of you for me exactly I wanna if I'm not happy with what I have and who I am then I'm not going to be happy with anybody else I think that's why I'm scared for relationships Because you do get distracted when it comes to a man. Mm -hmm. You're always there, always doing something. And honestly, this year, I've been on my grind, working, being active on social media, reaching out to brands. I've been so good. And I feel like if I bring someone in my life that they're going to put me down and everything that I build, I don't want them to see that. Because Mm -hmm. they weren't there since the start. That's how I see it. Yeah. With this competition... It's big news for me. My parents are there supporting me. My my friends back home. I know those are the people I want to share this journey, not with another guy, and then distract myself on top of that. Because I won't be in my fullest if I'm competing and I'm in a relationship. Because mm. obviously the competition comes first. My priority priorities come first. You know? And I remember back in New York, I had my priorities straight. But when I went into a relationship, I forgot myself. Mm. Forgot who I was. Coming to Miami, it kind of brought back the priorities come first because obviously it wasn't here. It was long distance. Yeah. So I was on a schedule. I was working out. I was doing well. And yeah, I went back in New York. And when I saw him, I was like, yeah, I don't, I can't do this. This is a person that I don't want to be with. I'm about to do great things. I got back in my back. grind. And if I go back and forth, I'm not doing this. Mm-hmm. So for a future, hopefully maybe in another year or two after I finish what's important to me, I can find someone or that person finds me, mm-hmm. either one. but And grind together. Yeah. That's what I like when a man knows what he wants to do in life, who what? takes initiative and who's up there. I also think it's important, like, for us, like, we're young, so, like, your 20s are so hard. Like, you're trying to, like, find yourself, figure out who you are. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like if you, like, lose yourself in that relationship, like, I don't know, I just think that, your 20s are hard as it is. Why would you not want to continue putting yourself first? Does that make sense? I agree, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, you got to be a happy, whole, complete person. Mm-hmm. And way too many people get into relationships because they don't like being alone. they got to have somebody there. It's like I'm sure you guys all have girlfriends that even if they have a boyfriend, there's probably two or three dudes in the background that are stuck in friend zone that are hoping to get their shot. And as soon as things are a little sideways with their significant other, then they're going to lunch with their friend 
the, the guy, that, oh, you don't have to worry about him. He's just a friend because they got to have somebody. And if the relationship doesn't work out, they start spending more time with those male orbiters, as I call them, the guys that are hoping to get their shot. And then that's why a lot of times guys are thinking, we were together three years, and like literally a week after we break up, she's at, my friends see her in a bar all over some dude. He's like, and he, this guy's suffering because he's obviously sad over the breakup, but yet his girlfriend is already all over some completely other random dude because a lot of women will stay with a guy until their feelings are completely gone. Mm-hmm. And then they line up a replacement, and then they monkey branch. And when things look like they're going to work out with a new guy, then they ditch the old boyfriend. And then they're shocked at how quickly they moved on. It's like moved on because they stayed long long after their feelings were completely gone. Damn. So emotionally, when they broke up, they were ready to move on. That's what you, you explained did. to me. Literally, that's what you <laughs> that's did. That's literally what I did. And I told my friends about the plan too. I was like, look, I got to do it like this. All right, ST, we trust you. We're still here. Let us know if you need any help. And when I did, I'm telling you, when I was done, I was done. I packed all his stuff, mm-hmm. put it in a box, wrote a note, and I sent it to him because I was done. It's like, and he messages me, which I never, ever texted him back saying, oh, you could have kept him. Like, why am I keeping this? I don't need this. Yeah. Like, I honestly, if it was to you me. You sent him a Dear John box? I was like, uh, not even dear. I was like, hey, you I think question. You know what that is, word. dear John? The movie. The movie? Dear yeah. John letters are basically a uh, woman leaves her husband or her boyfriend. It's like, dear John, you're a great guy. But oh, it's like not you, it's, it's me. me. <laughs> no, I didn't even say none of that. We're I different said. places in our lives. Mm-hmm. And the guy comes home. She's she's moved out or taken her stuff or whatever. And all that's left is the dear John letter. The note was clear. Like, oh, we're going our separate ways. I just returning everything because I don't need this. It's useless to me. And I wanted one thing back. I only asked for one thing back. And he had a whole attitude in the message. Did he send it back? The, no, he never did. He did? What he never it? did. It was a necklace I gave him for Valentine's that I spent so much money on that I regret but it. Was a gift. it. No, I, I gave back all it his gifts. Gift. I did not care. That was one thing I spent so much money on. I was like, no, I need that back. What are you trying to re gift it to the next No, house? I could have just worn it. <laughs> I could have just, no, that's so bad. I could have just worn it. If not, I could have sold Indian it. Indian giver. That's messed up. There's a name for that. So for someone that it's like buys Indian you giver. something and then asks us for it. Yeah. No, but it was just one thing. I mean, the rest you could have. Indian I didn't giving. really care. You can have the sneakers. Yeah. You can have everything else I gave you. But that necklace, because I spent so much money on it and okay. I hated that. So now I have a question. What if you're married gift. or like engaged and you guys break off the engagement? What do you do with the ring? Well, that's quite a question. With the engagement, I'll give it back as a human being. Same. Well, because the idea is you take the engagement ring saying, yes, I accept your proposal but and if you not. say i've changed my mind i don't want your proposal then you got to give the yeah. ring back give it back i mean i could be a mean person just take it and whatever but i'm not that kind of person karma is out there to get you one and two it's a human right to th- do the human thing to do to give it back Same. he might he won't gift, give it to anyone else if it's a gift like a necklace or something else all right i'll keep it but if he's asking for something specific i'll think about it, negotiate maybe it's like hey you give it to me it's a double standard. Because my thing is in the box, I gave him everything back. I didn't need it. All the gifts I gave back. Only one thing I kept was like my graduation gift, which was the only thing I thought I deserved. He I thought even... he deserved that necklace. He did, but he didn't. Because after time by time explaining to him and telling him all the things that he'd done wrong and still tells me, oh, I don't know what, what's your problem, like blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm telling you every time. But it's whatever. He still wears this necklace, which is like, damn, if you're sleeping with someone or have a new girlfriend, you better not tell her I gave you that and you still have it. We're going to say, oh, my ex gave it to me. Oh, so you still have your ex's um, necklace around your neck? Red flag, right? Or no? It's a gift. It's his. Mm -hmm. Who cares where it came from? Mm -hmm. If a guy got me a watch, I'd still wear it, even if we broke up, because it's a watch. Oh, no, I don't wear anything he gave me. Is that watch a gift from a previous boyfriend? No, I'm just saying. The only things I wouldn't wear is like his hoodie. No, yeah. Or his hat, that stuff you can keep. But if it comes to like jewelry and stuff like that, jewelry or a purse, you'll keep the blame. Like a purse, yeah. Perfume, I'd keep it. I'm not yeah. going to give it back. The purse I got, I kept. But there was like a, a necklace that I had to give back, like I didn't want at all. I mean, if it came to jewelry, I wouldn't want to wear it because it's just like, I can't really separate the idea of 
it's just an object and the person gave it to you. Like it doesn't, That doesn't sit well with me. Mm-hmm. So if I had something like jewelry type, I would resell it and buy myself something nicer or something like that. Mm. I don't know if it's bad to do, but that's how I would do it. I feel like that's too much work work for me. Yeah. I wouldn't keep it if it were like something like heart or like sentimental sentimental then i'd be like okay you can keep that but if it's like a hoop earrings i'm keeping those what another guy could see me looking beautiful with that well look i kept some that only gift because he barely gave me any gifts and i gave him so much gifts that's why i wanted it back Hmm. i spent so much money on that necklace and then the past valentine's i gave him so much other things and i got crap for valentine's literally Hmm. just a pillow Wow. And I gave him a wallet customized saying his name, mm-hmm. and I got him a jewelry. And he gave me a pillow with the pictures on top. Like, no roses, no flowers, no nothing. I never got roses on Valentine's. So that's why this I went. This is outrageous. And Valentine's literally is two Where's weeks my roses, away or three it? weeks away. We know what to get SD for Valentine's. Roses. Yeah. I believe in gal- Galentine's. Galentine's. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I was telling you. Galentine's? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, go on a date with your girlfriends. Go uh, out, look pretty, and take pictures. I've not heard that term. Date night with the gals. You're le- learning so much. Esty and I have a day on Valentine's Day, actually. Yeah? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Really? You had to do you it. You guys both like girls, don't you? No. <laughs> we had this discussion with Daniela. What? Yes, Daniela likes girls. I See, I literally met her for five seconds. I really don't. Didn't know her. Would you like a more intimate meeting? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we both have red dresses and we're going to make our do our hair, makeup, and take pictures for Instagram. I mean, why not just go up the girls? I don't like girls. I like friends with Can girls. Do you have plans? I don't know yet. I might. I might not. 